Well, we are with Dan Chouinard, who is a Minnesota pianist and accordionist at the beautiful uh, theater in Cloquet. Welcome to the playlist. Very happy to be here. I have to ask, um, as an accordionist, um, that's You're an not accordionist. not I'm not, not myself. Oh, okay, all right. But I have There's to ask. Still time. When did you discover your passion for music, and particularly the accordion? Uh, my passion for music, uh, gosh, I grew up in a big family of musicians. Not musicians who performed outside the house. My parents didn't. Uh, my mom studied piano all her life. My dad liked to sing in barbershop quartets. So it was kind of, it was, it was family habit, I guess. That, uh, that we all took piano when school was done and we came home, you knew that you had your half hour slot in which you had to practice. And in junior high and high school, that became an hour. So all of that just seems like second nature to me. It's just something that I don't remember not doing. The accordion came along when I started a rock and roll band with some friends of mine in high school and the mother of our lead singer interrupted us at practice one day. We were doing the Bee Gees or something and she said, you know, you'll make yourselves more employable if you play some old time music and polkas and waltzes and schottisches. And she happened to have an accordion in her closet that she didn't use. So the accordion came out of the closet. Uh, I, I met the accordion and uh, we've been inseparable ever since. That's pretty awesome. So just guessing by looking at some of the projects you've been involved with, you also have a passion for history, or you're darn curious about how we ended up, you know, settling this country and everything else. A lot of, yeah, a lot of things. I, I, and some of that curiosity springs from, from traveling and uh, having studied languages. As soon as I got to college, I learned French and Italian. Uh, and I traveled there, and eventually I started traveling by bicycle over there, and, I, and the accordion was a perfect instrument to bring over there and, uh, and use as a sort of conversation starter. And so I bought myself a little accordion that I could strap onto the bike when I traveled. Uh, it sat right on top of the bags where the tent and the sleeping bag were. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been driven by curiosity about a number of things, most recently about the experiences of some members of my family in World War II. In addition to being fascinating subjects for study, they also sounded like great excuses to load up the bike and go back. Uh, and, uh, and so my last trip, my last big trip over there was from Naples to Normandy on the bike, stopping at all of the World War II landing beaches and stopping at lots of the cemeteries and of course stopping at the places that were important in in the stories of these two in my family. You've been able to tell these stories on a multiple multiple platforms, you know, um, sometimes radio, sometimes stage. Mm -hmm. Do you do you have a preference? Would you have a favorite? I I uh, I have been able to tell these stories uh, in in ways that integrate my you know my experience and my with and my love of music and um, and my love for for this sort of study and telling these stories and so to pull together a show that I can do on stage with the help of a bunch of musician friends and with the help of some maps and, and old photos uh, and uh, to tell uh, to tell the stories with the, all these things woven in that's that's my that's my favorite really it doesn't feel like it gets any better than that I have to ask the parent question your advice for musicians and for parents of young musicians um, who might be nagging what advice would you give them hmm continue to nag uh, it takes encouragement it takes some discipline and discipline doesn't come naturally S to some of us it doesn't come naturally ever um, but it was also it, it was also helpful that it was just a fun family thing, uh, and that it was really a source of joy, so one way or another. It was it was fun. It didn't mean that it didn't have long stretches of drudgery, uh, but you knew that there was some sort of payoff, and the payoff for us when we were kids was that relatives would come over, our friends would come over for dinner, and then there'd be the little program after dinner, and. And at least back then, it was just, it was a big deal. 
and to play for to play for parties for sing-alongs when uh, when people wanted to sing that was something that I specialized in just because I have a head like a like a jukebox um, there was always an element of fun in it and so there was that 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 balance that everyone's got to just sort of figure out for themselves that balance of discipline hard work but the payoff of the, the fun and the joy of it well I think I'd like to invite you to the next party at my house to play music I hope you do <laughs> Dan Chenard, thank you for your time and for sharing your gifts. Thank you.